Hey there, Classic Gamers, Retro Rob here, and welcome to Retro Modern, where everything old is new again as we play new games that are based on either old style play or graphics. And today we've got something that kind of fits both, but kind of doesn't. Uh, this one is called Moose Life, and it's by Llamasoft, one of my favorite game development companies, headed up by Jeff Minter. I've been playing Jeff Minter games since I was a kid, so I absolutely love his stuff. Started out on the Commodore 64 and just, just kept going with it. And uh, yeah, I think you're going to like this one. Let's read the description so you get an idea of what we're looking at here. Moose Life is a trippy psychedelic trance shooter. Created in the style of a 1980s arcade game, Moose Life offers you an exhilarating ride into the trance zone. Spectacular shooty action and a top techno soundtrack will raise your mood. If you have VR, immerse yourself for greater satisfaction. I do have a VR kit, but uh, I'm not going to play it uh, right now in VR, although I think I'm going to try it. I played the game a few times, I've liked it pretty well so far, so let's try it out. Let's get ready to moose. And uh, here we have Lamco. I love that they've been doing that lately. The last couple games uh, they've been branding as Lamco. I think it's pretty awesome, honestly. All right, here we go. It is very basic. I shoot with the fire button. And I can flip with the B button. I said fire with the fire button, didn't I? Okay, I can fire with the A button. And then I can flip with the button. And uh, it starts out pretty easy, but this is gonna get a lot harder. Here we go. I think one of the big attractions, this starts so much easier than most games by Lamasoft. I, this is one of the least actually brutal games that they've ever made. Okay, so anyway, you can press forward and backwards. Get those sheep, by the way, they're worth a bonus. Um, and you'll move faster forward. One thing to be aware of is don't go backwards too much because things tend to sneak up behind you and get you. So, ooh, uh, get him. There we go. So don't do it too much, especially once things get really fast. Because I guarantee you'll be in trouble. Uh, there we go. Come on. Get him, get him. There we go. Nope, gotta let him go. Again, really unusually, unusually easy at the beginning for Llama Soft game. Usually they're super brutal the whole way through. So I'm gonna turn this light away. Man, that's shining right on my face. Purpose, tension. Look at that. Arr. Go forward. I was gonna back up and try and get that guy, but that that would have been my folly. I died. Great. I died like on the easiest level ever. So I get for talking. Pickups in this game are absolutely Marvy. Get the sheepies! As always, there's always trying to save sheep. Purple moose mode. We got about six seconds left to that. Oh, 
I love the music on every Lamasoft game. It's like the 80s. What's kind of interesting is, you know, honestly, the games that are done by Lamasoft probably couldn't really be done in the 80s, uh, technically. At least not at home. But they look like games that could have existed in the 80s, and I really like that. I'll get you a big plushie. <laughs> I'll, oh, very cute. I didn't realize that. Uh, that's a reference to the song Alice's Restaurant, by the way. In case you don't know, I'm going to guess that most of the viewers here are kind of skewing a little bit. But look up Alice's Restaurant. You'll get some lyrics. There we go. No! I love, I love this. Look at them all! They've converted! A little spinning Amiga ball. It's kind of funny, if you were around when the Amiga came out, you know, you'll still call that an Amiga ball all these years later. But of course, it doesn't require an Amiga. In fact, I've seen a Commodore 64 version of it. Moose, you live a lovely life, saving the woolly ones that delight us all. Protecting the fluff, fluff for all. Nice. Again, I am getting off very light so far this game. Four lives left. No, oh, no, I'm getting that pill. Purple moose mode. This is like an entire arcade's worth of sound effects here. the sheepies oh did I miss one yeah I missed like three of them there we go Funny, I'm not playing particularly well today, uh, but still probably one of the longest gameplays you'll ever get out of me on one of Lamasoft's games. So there's that. Stay fresh, don't get stagnant. It's gonna get harder and harder. Keep marching forward. Note that while I'm playing here, I am pressing forward on the analog stick. Because I will go faster to lose, well, extra enemies that way. And occasionally I'll back off. There we go. time! Better get that one. Come on. We got some support giraffes. Another interesting thing is there's kind of uh, references to some of their earlier games. I will definitely do Space Draft one of these days. I don't think they sell it on Steam anymore, but I happen to have a copy of it. 
and uh, that's a Tempest-like game by Llamasoft, and it's really quite good. It's definitely a lot harder than this, though. Ah, get him. Still got four lives. I'm doing quite good. Mr. Power Up. No. Wonderful moves. With your nose big and antlers wide, we would have totally given you a cuddle. We would totally give you a cuddle if you were not the size of a bus. Now things are getting interesting. I'm gonna get that pill. There we go, a little power up action. Absolutely love the graphics on this game. games where I have a hard time talking to it, uh, talking during it, sorry, not towards it, and talk to it all day long. Halfway to my high score. The question is, will I beat my high score? Maybe. I'm not playing particularly well, but I am getting particularly lucky. Which is a big plus. Stinky Moose, that's okay. It's part of your job to be stinky. And I kind of like the smell anyway. Lovely. Five lives. All right, so there's a warning, and you, it, it's easy to get kind of lost in the game and not pay attention to some of the warnings, but you should pay attention to them. Because they do tell you important gameplay instructions. You see those explosions? Yeah, they're trouble. Oh, shoot. And this is one of those games where everything kind of falls apart at once for you. If you're not careful. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh shoot! Ran right into him too. Get the sheepies! Sheep, there's another sheep, there's another sheep. Oh, they went away. Jeez, Louise, man. They are all over the place. Yeah. Oop, flip. You do not want to be hit. Double moose in it. And 
ambiguous moose in Europe, we call you an elk. Elk or moose, we all agree that you are deer, are a deer, a jolly big one. <sighs> What's the weather like? It looks like rain, deer. Nice. I like puns, so. Oof. All right, be careful. Get past that bomb. See, and here we go. This is the point in the game where you end up going backwards more than you would like. Shoot. And that will occasionally whew, cost you a life. Just stuff going on everywhere. And my associates here are taking care of business. Let's get some Let's get some sheep following us. Here we go. Cannot see Jack. Fortunately, I got this rapid fire. No, don't hit that. There we go. So much going on here. Oh, no. Look at that. I'm launching... Launching little animals at them. That's pretty cool. Down to one life. That's what I'm talking about. It often will fall apart. Eventually, by the way, like, it's not one of those games where you'll always fall apart at the same point. Over time, you learn how to deal with the new challenges and you'll get further and further along. Eight levels. Get that pill. There we go. Now I got some backup. Jeez. There's just so much going on here. There we go. That one needs to die. Okay, everything turns into bucks, I guess. Oh, shoot. Ran right into him. One life left. all need to go. Ah, no! No! No, I'm not gonna run into it. Oh, game over! I lived 11 times. 375 stags created. I love the stats on this. Really cool. But there we are. Game over. Let's get a verdict. And that wraps it up for Moose Life by Llama Soft. We rescued sheep, we shot a lot of stuff. It was great. Love the graphics. As always, I love the music. You know, Minter's stuff is just an absolute trip. And it's one of those genres, and Minter is a genre, uh, that you either love it or you hate it. I absolutely love it. And for $7, this would be a good intro if you haven't tried his games before. So I will put a link to it down below. 
Great game. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.